morning. I'm in Mallorca today. It's the first time I've ever been here. And I'm right in the middle in Sinu. I've come here for an event called Toros de Gravel, which I think is balls of gravel. I don't know. Anyway, uh, my friend Reagan's organized it. He invited us all along to have a kind of end of season get together, plenty of beers, lots of riding, swimming in the sea, camping, all the good stuff. So uh, I'm going to go grab my bike. I've been lent a bike by Canyon for this, the Grail, the one with the pretty unusual handlebars, you might have seen. Um, so I'm going to go grab that, get changed, and then we're going to head off for, I think, about 140 kilometers of off-road and on-road gravel riding. Um, <laughs> So here's my bike. This is the Canyon Grail. It's got those very divisive dual bars on it. I don't know what I'm gonna make of them. Let you know when I've ridden it a bit. So today's route, uh, I don't know much about it and I forgot my bike computer. I'm hoping I can borrow one. But 140k around the island, there's um, a couple of decent food stops and one of the stops is at the beach. So the main objective is get to the beach, get in the sea. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. But we're waiting for Sandy to... Has anyone has a DJI? you never guess the places that I've been. You never guess the places that I've been Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in I'm never gonna let the day begin Never gonna let the day begin Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in We are just having the best time. I think we're the last people on the route because a guy on an e-bike, he's like the broom wagon and he keeps catching us up. But we're just stopping the whole time to eat figs and pomegranates, look at the scenery. I mean, it's kind of too nice to go fast and miss it all. This is probably the last time I'll get, well, definitely the last warm weather ride that I'll get this year. And it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's taking the piss because I keep filming myself. <laughs> right, time to go. They're by the lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can we stop for a minute? Oh. We're, we're gonna get we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> oh my god. Look at their little jowls. Oh. <laughs> Keep going little babies. This is the best day ever. <laughs> oh my god. Checkpoint one. It's my mother. Oh yes. So getting involved with that. Because <laughs> everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that world that I dream of. Oh don't wake me up before you go. Cause I can't face this day alone. Benedict might have spotted a fig. Maybe. One. One fig. It's the last fig of this tree. All of its life force is concentrated into this. Wow. One unripened fig. <laughs> unripened. <laughs> Think how fast you're going to go with all that energy. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Uh, 
so now there's three of us. People are dropping like flies, is it? Like something? Spaniards. I said, dropping like Spanish Spaniards, like yeah. Spanish, like Spanish, Spanish flies. flies. Yeah. <laughs> they just can't hack it. Well, everyone else is in front of us though. I mean, the, the we actually are last. <laughs> We're having such a shit time here. <laughs> Majorca. Oh Not man. Yeah, don't come. <laughs> mm -mm. Get it, Kyle. Oh. <laughs> what I see on the run of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The city. <sighs> Finally. I mean, I like cycling and everything, but it's where I want to go. <laughs> So far, it has been incredible. Like, I've never been to New York on a road bike, and now I'm not so sure I'd want to bring one next time because the gravel riding here is crazy good. I feel like I'm riding my ass off and I'm last <laughs> on the course. Like, by I far. I mean, we also started <laughs> way after everyone. But we, yeah. We were riding with and we, we've been chilling. And we would stop, take photos. We we've stopped like four times to take photos, and that was like enough to so take a piss. So we can we can look at my camera, and I can prove to you that we've stopped more than four times, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. It isn't a race, but we are coming last. <laughs> we found an oasis on the trails. They've run out of water so unfortunately rosé only. <laughs> Not sure how much riding is going to get done this afternoon. Uh, why? Why are you drinking olive oil? That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> is that the secret? That's the secret, drinking olive oil. You got to sweat it out, you never have to moisturise. Oh. Are you videotaping me again? No, I'm taking a photo. <laughs> I think I never trust you. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> to the beach. Yes. I knew I could rely on you. I got, I got the wine. Two cups. <laughs> Bikes here. Yeah. Right? I mean, they're, they're there. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Yes. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! I don't really want to ride with a wet chamois, so quick change. I've got a bit of a weird outfit on, check this out. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm having to do some very careful strategic positioning here due to the high level of nudity on this beach <laughs> including my co-riders but oh man why do I live in England when I could live here cheers I feel sad that we're leaving a bit of heaven right now oh it's so nice we're in the last bit of the sun on our way back to Sinu. I thought I'd just quickly tell you a bit about the bike because I know you guys are interested in it and how I got on with it. I'm not going to do a full product review right now. I just wanted to let you know a few bits about it. And if you are interested, I'll do a more in-depth video later. But I found the bike super, super comfortable. It was able to just sort of plow through any of the off-road terrain that I hit on it. But weirdly, or surprisingly, I suppose, when it came on the road, it was really, really fast. I mean, normally any sort of off-road plushness, you sacrifice a lot of speed on the road. And I didn't feel that with this bike. It still felt fast enough. So that was good. Um, it's really stable because um, it's got enough rake on the fork that it's got a quite a long wheelbase. So that stability feels really nice when you're on all the loose stuff. Um, you get quite a lot of comfort from the, um, the design of the seat post that's got a lot of flex in it. So that takes out a lot of the harshness when you're on gravel. And then of course you've got the, um, the uh, divisive bars. And I would say that given the design is designed to make it more comfortable to ride on the tops, 
it's worked. It is more comfortable to ride on the tops. But I don't ride with my hands in the middle of the bars that often. More often than not, I'm riding with them on the hoods. And I don't know how much difference that design makes if you're riding in that position. Uh, then also, the design of the bars means that it is actually stiffer if you ride on the drops. And I don't know if I want it to be stiffer when I'm on the drops and I'm descending. Um, there are a few other interesting things about the bars, like how you can hook your thumbs in, but I'm not going to bang on about it. I just wanted to let you know my first thoughts about it. If you've got any questions and if you want to know more, let me know and I'll do a full product review. But for now, I'm going to get back on the bike, going to get to the velodrome, and then it's a party tonight. Thank <laughs> you.